Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I bring you content on clean beauty, skincare, and lifestyle. Today's video is gonna be a May favorite. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love for you to join me and then also follow me on my Instagram, Dirt Naturals, as well as my blog, dirtnaturals.com. Let's get into it. So I have a very large bin of stuff here to show you. First, let's start with skincare. The product I wanna talk about is Osea Malibu. This is their ocean cleanser. This was in the Beauty Heroes box from April. As you can tell, I'm already halfway done with it. I love this cleanser so much. It smells like key lime pie. I feel like this is such a great summer cleanser. It really balances your skin's pH. I believe it has seaweed extracts, it has some amino acids, really good essential oils, jasmine oil, chlorophyll. This also contains lactic acid, which is really good for exfoliation. This leaves my skin feeling so soft and balanced, but really cleansed. It's definitely my favorite cleanser I've ever tried, and I've tried a lot of them. So I was really impressed with this, and I'm definitely going to repurchase. Next up is a serum. This is from, I'm not sure if I'm gonna say this right, but it's Hanua Hawaiian Skin Care. This is their Aloha Youth Serum. Dev's Day on Instagram turned me on to this product. Hey girl, thanks for recommending this because I'm so in love with it. It's a really nice and light hydrating serum. It smells really unique. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's a nice scent. It absorbs really quickly. It gives you a nice amount of hydration and I just love how this feels on my skin. Packaging is also super cute. I got this off of Urban Outfitters when they were having a sale, but you could also get it off of their website. I'll link both of them below for you guys. My next skincare fave is a sunscreen from Josh Rosebrook. This is his Nutrient Day Cream in SPF 30. It doesn't leave a white cast at all, sinks in beautifully. It's a nice day cream, and he also offers a tinted version if you prefer that, but I really love this product. It's pretty pricey for this amount, but if you really want to invest in a good quality sunscreen that actually has the amount of SPF that it says it does, so I'd really recommend this one. I've also tried a sample of the Kipris Heliotrophic. It's called something like that, but that one's really good as well. And yeah, this is definitely good to have year round and has been a favorite in the month of May for me. The last skincare product I wanna talk about is actually this oil from Fur. This is their Ingrown Concentrate. So this has some really good oils in it. I believe it has coconut oil and really good essential oils such as tea tree. So how to use this product is it comes with this little finger mitt which you use in the shower to exfoliate especially the ingrown hairs and then I like to just take a couple drops of this on damp skin and really just rub it into the hairs. This works really good especially for summertime you're going to be shaving a lot. I don't get a lot of ingrown hairs on my legs but my armpits always get super pissed at me so I love having this on hand. But this is a really, a really effective product and I would definitely recommend to have it on hand for summer if you struggle with ingrown hairs or if you really just like to prevent them, this would be a great product. Okay, there's actually one more skincare product I want to mention. This is from Otisite. I don't know if that's how you say it. If you do know how to pronounce it, let me know in the comments. But this is their Black Human and Cage You Put Serum Concentrate. So this one is for pimples. I love the serum so much. It only has two ingredients, black cumin oil and cage you put like it said. If you need a blemish treatment that is not drying and if you have sensitive skin or just normal skin, this works so good. I honestly have not tried a blemish treatment that worked as good as this one. I tried a sample of this and was like weary because it only had two ingredients. I was like, how good can it really be? But the black cumin seed oil really penetrates into your pores and help keep helps keep them clear and when I put this on a blemish overnight, it looks so much better in the morning. This is a tiny little bottle but you need the smallest amount and just put it on my blemishes at night and I use it in the morning too. I usually do it on my chin where I get blemishes and also by my nose because it really helps to keep your pores clear. But I picked this off of Pettivore and I totally love this and recommend it if you struggle with blemishes. Next up, I want to talk about some makeup. I have two products from Gressa here. I have their Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation and the Minimalist Illuminating Serum. I absolutely love both of these products. I've been using the foundation and the serum every single day. They work so well. It is a really oily consistency. It's not oily, but it is liquidy. It stays great throughout the day, and I love to use this in combination for this. This one is just a little highlighting serum. You can use this on top with the foundation or just under it. I like to use it under it. 
It's just a really pretty, the thing gets clogged, but whatever. It has a really pretty, almost purple iridescence to it, but I love this. It's also, it is a serum, but it's not oily. It's more of like a dry oil. So putting this on before your makeup makes you look so glowy and beautiful. I love to use these two together. They really knocked it out of the park with these two products. I also have a full review and demo of the foundation on my channel. If you'd like to check it out, I'd link it below for you guys right now. And also a blog post I'll link. Next is a product I've been using every single day. This is from 14E Cosmetics. This is their Aloe Nourish Powder. This powder is so amazing. I honestly didn't like it that much at first because I think I was using way too much of it. But this on top of the rest of the foundation is so amazing. I can't even describe how great it looks and how long it lasts. But it's a really finely milled powder. I think it, yeah, the ingredients are bamboo silica, magnesium silicate, and aloe vera. If you have dry patches, I would be careful with this because it does cling to them, but I just use the tiniest amount under my eyes and then also just to set the oily parts of my face. And it just looks so beautiful, really airbrush, and definitely recommend this if you're looking for a powder. I believe it's also pretty affordable, probably around $14, $14 I believe. Next up is a product that really freaking surprised me. This is from Au Naturel. This is their Cream Corrector in the shade Flax. Now this was in a Pettivore box last month, the month of May, and it's basically just a yellow concealer, but it's not too yellow. I was never really a fan of color correctors. If I saw this on the website, I would honestly never even think about picking it up. It's not too pigmented, but it still just has the perfect tint to it. Now, yellow is the opposite of purple on the color, color wheel, so this will help with dark circles. My favorite way to use it is actually on my dark acne marks around my chin. I just dab this on and rub it in. It blends in super well and does a great job at just leaving a base. It really just neutralizes any kind of darkness you have on your face. Yeah, I kind of want to try the green one of this next, too. This is a really great concealer. So surprised by it and definitely loving it. This next product is one of the first green beauty products I ever started using. This is from Zuzu Lux. I'm not sure if this is the Zuzu Lux powder foundation or the Gabrielle one because I bought the compact and then you could buy the refills for it. And they have two different formulas. I remember that I really like both of them. I think one had a little bit more of a sheen to it, but they're both really beautiful. I just found this in my collection and I was like, oh my God, I just remembered how much I love this. It looks so good, like not like powder at all. It's honestly amazing how smooth it makes your skin. I wore this in New York for a full day and it did not break up. It didn't get oily. It didn't make me look dry. It's such a good foundation. Pretty affordable too, so if you are in the market for just a really quick foundation that gives you good coverage, lasts all day, and makes your skin look beautiful, definitely check this one out from Zuzu Lux. Alright, so for my very last makeup product, this is from Cloven Hollow. It is, I forgot the name of this, it's just their lip gloss in the shade Angelic. This is a really pretty nude. It comes in one of these applicators. There it is on my hand. This formula is amazing. It's so hydrating, so nourishing. It doesn't sink into the lines of your lips. It's such a pretty color, like the perfect nude, not too like pink toned, but not too orange toned either. This has been living in my bag the whole month and it's definitely worth a mention in today's video. I keep saying that's the last product I'm gonna talk about, but then I see another product in the bin, I'm like, oh, there is one more. So this is the very last makeup product I'm gonna talk about. It's from the Organic Skin Co. So this is just a palette that you can buy and then they offer cream shadows and like lip and cheek colors. They sent this to me and I'm honestly freaking blown away by these guys. I have to swatch them. I'm gonna do a full Instagram post and review about these in probably a couple days. Might be up before this video or after, but I'll link that below as well. So. These two right here are the eye products and these two are the lip and cheek products. Now these are so freaking pigmented. I have to swatch them right now. One second. So there's the more taupey eyeshadow and the gold eyeshadow. This was literally just one swipe on the palette. They're so pigmented, so creamy. I actually have the gold shade on my eyelids now. They are so gorgeous. I want to pick up every shade they own. If you're looking for nice creamy eyeshadows, they don't crease or anything like that either, which is great for a cream shadow. You can just pick up this palette and then fill it with the eyeshadows or the lip colors. They're honestly really good brand worth looking into. This coral on the end is really pretty too. So another favorite of mine this month is a nail polish from Habit. 
This is in the color Cavalier. This is such a pretty like yellow mustard, but it has some gold shimmer in it, which I think is really pretty. This is a 12 free nail polish, I believe. It was on Petty Boar, vegan, cruelty free. I also believe this has myrrh extracts in it, which is really good for strengthening your nails. I've been really having a yellow moment and orange, if you can't already tell, so I've been loving this color. I have it on my toes right now. I'm probably gonna do my nails next with this, but this packaging is super cute too. I'll link it below. These are awesome formulas, really opaque, and yeah, I love it. My favorite body care product this month is another product from Osea. This is their Andaria body scrub from last month's Beauty Hero box as well. This scrub has ground pumice stone in it, which is super gentle on your skin. It's not too harsh like salt or sugar. It smells amazing. Also has seaweed extracts, really good essential oils, passion fruit flower, some things I can't pronounce. Yeah, this is such a gorgeous scrub. The tub is also huge, which I love. If you're looking for a really great quality body scrub, definitely pick this one up. I totally recommend it. It's life changing. I did not know a body scrub could be this good. It's really creamy and hydrating, but still gives you a really nice exfoliation. So check this out from Osea. All right, we're almost there. Just a couple more products. I have two hair care products here to show you. First one is from Rahua. This is just their classic shampoo. I have had this for a really long time. It's pretty pricey for a shampoo, but it is so amazing. If you like Palo Santo, it smells like heaven. Vegan, cruelty-free, without parabens and sulfates. It also has aloe extract, rosemary extract, raspberry extract. It also has, let's see, Rahua and Palo Santo oil. This makes my hair so freaking shiny and soft. I don't use it every time I wash my hair because it is a pricey product, but I do like to do it as a treat. It's really amazing. These are worth the hype. I think they also have a volume shampoo and a new moisturizing shampoo, which I would really love to try out once I finish this one out, but this is such a gorgeous shampoo. Next, I wanna talk about a conditioner from Acure. This is Vivacious Volume Peppernick, Peppernick, what the fuck is that? Peppermint and Echinacea Conditioner. I love Acure hair products. They're super affordable and super high quality. This one smells really good. I like you. I love using anything with peppermint or eucalyptus because it really stimulates your scalp and helps hair growth. This one makes my hair super soft. It doesn't weigh it down. I love, I've tried basically all of their conditioners. They're all great. This is just the one I'm using now. But if you are looking for good hair care that's affordable, it's also vegan and cruelty free, check a cure out for hair care. The last product I wanna talk about is a wellness product. This is from Amazing Grass. It's their Beauty Elixir Green and Adaptogens. This is a drink mix. It's really good to put into smoothies or into water. It tastes really good, it doesn't taste gross at all. I've had a lot of green mixers that are just like honestly repulsive. This has a bunch of great things in it. Moringa, ashwagandha, biotin, chaga, and hibiscus. It has fermented greens, adaptogenic herbs, and 100% of your daily value of biotin. I love using, I've tried a couple other powders from this brand as well, and I really love them. They all taste great. They're not gross at all. I get this on Amazon. I believe it's only like $25 if I'm not wrong. Really good deal for such a great mix. Just have this in water, like I said, smoothies. You can put it even like on oatmeal. So delicious and I've been loving this. That was it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it. Subscribe if you haven't already and give me a like and a comment below. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Dirt Naturals, and my website, dirtnaturals.com. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.